Good evening and welcome to live coverage of the Premier League International Cup. The Young Seagulls taking on AS Monaco in tonight's second game of the competition. And they're coming off an impressive win already in this cup, defeating the Dutch Giants Feyenoord last time out at Lansing AS Monaco, one of the greatest and most feared academies in all of Europe, though. Tonight could be a more difficult prospect altogether. Spong's looked for Furlong, who's continued his run from left-back. That's a wonderful ball by Furlong, who's in behind here. Across the six-yard box to Cal Perpion, and so almost 1-0 Seagulls. Still alive, though, with the Australian. Back it goes to Casper Nilsson, who can't find at the back of the net from 12 yards out. What an early chance that was for the Seagulls to stun Monaco, who just haven't seemed to have woken up in the opening exchanges. Sent down the left-hand channel. Furlong drilled it right across the face of the six-yard box. All Cam Perfion had to do was fire home. You have to credit Lennard in goal for scrambling across. And then Nilsson on the follow-up from the edge of the area, sent it over the top. And Monaco setting up now for a free kick in a pretty dangerous position. And Le Marichal standing over it, waiting to deliver. Just two in the Albion wall. It's Perpion and Miller. The Marischal deep towards the back post. It's a free header from Richie Valm. And one he puts over the bar. And really, Valm should have done better. Berry. Looking for the diagonal. Towards Baglieri, who's barely had a touch. A fire is giving it straight to Ben Seguir, who's breaking towards the area. Roll to Koulibaly. Trying to get out of his feet. Can't quite do so. Vabai with the flashed ball across the penalty area, which flashes wide, thankfully for James Beadle. I don't know if that was a shot or a cross from Nazim Babai, but either way, it had James Beadle wondering. Spong. Pocket of space for Jack Spong here in front of his back line, and he'll try and use it well. Does so brilliantly. Casper Nilsson. Perpion ahead of him. Perpion reverse ball back towards Nilsson. Bounces loose in the area. Can the Seagulls turn it home? It's Barrington. It's blocked again. Still alive. Imari Samuels. Hinshelwood. Now Barrington and tips over, but it'll be a penalty anyway. Hinshelwood brought down as he laid it off to Luca Barrington. And lovely combination play in the 18-yard box has created a reward for the Seagulls. They'll have a chance to take the lead from 12 yards. Hinshelwood's feet just too quick for Richie Valm, who clattered into him as he laid it off to Barrington. The responsibility falls to the cool head of Jack Spong. The skipper from the spot. It's Spong, it's saved by Leonard. The follow-up is smashed home by Todd Miller. And Miller's on the score sheet again in cup competition. And the Albion have a 1-0 lead over Monaco. Lennard will be furious. He did his job and made the save, but no one tracked the run of Todd Miller, who rifled it into the roof of the net. A fine save from Lennard initially, but Miller just cushioning that ball and guiding it into the top right-hand corner. Diop taking over, 20 yards from goal, reverse pass to Baglieri, driven and deflected, and Beadle equal to it. Wonderful save from Beadle, because that changed direction just in front of the goalkeeper's face, and he reacted in time. Towards the near post it goes, headed on and loose at the back post, and no one could turn it home again. Towards the near post it went, it was helped on by Berry, and neither Baglieri or Valm could get the final touch to take it over the line. Bye-bye. Back to Monaco at the edge of the area. Deflected away. Le Marichal hits one, forces a good save from Beadle at his near post. Perpion done really well to hold on to the ball there, Cam Perpion, running through traffic. Helped into the path of Casper Nilsson. Hinshelwood waits at the edge of the area. Nilsson couldn't pick him out. Still alive with Perpion, though. Lamar Schau tracking him every step of the way, but Perpion's got to the byline, looped it up towards the back post. Samuels headed down and smashed in by Luca Barrington. And the Seagulls are two goals to the good against European opposition. 
Perpion did ever so well just to keep hold of the ball on the right. Lofted it back to the back post. Samuels headed down and Barrington smashed home. Herpion just lost the attention of Lamar Shaw. Samuels waited for the ball to drop, and Barrington was Johnny on the spot to knock it home. Monica breaking forward on the left. Chance here for Ben Seguir, edge of the area, Koulibaly. Runs into a crowd of blue and white shirts. Still alive. Blocked off the line by Songi. Hammered once more by Bamba. And three blue and white shirts protecting the Albion goal and keeping Monaco at bay. It's Monaco for the first time really today. Properly knocked on the door. Koulibaly at the heart of it. Laid it off to Ben Seguir. Back across the area. Koulibaly with the first shot. That was blocked. On the follow-up, Songi cleared it almost off the line. And then it couldn't be turned home at the third attempt. Mello will hunt down. Monaco goalkeeper who's given it right to Count Perpion. A chance to make it three. Perpion forces a good save out of Lennard. Barrington still with it on the left. Samuels. Perpion. Back to Samuels, to the byline, across goal. Miller's no, not got a touch on it. Still alive, back of the area with Nilsson. Another driven ball across the area. This one's behind for an Albion corner. Applause from the Albion dugout, but really it should have been three after Lennard did this. Right to Cam Perpion, thought about taking it early and then forced a really good save out of the French keeper. Perpion. Now Hinchelwood, right side of the area, along the near post, Miller slides in, bounces off the top of Lennard's bar in the end. Well, that could have gone anywhere. Not the cleanest contact from Todd Miller. It all came from Hinchelwood's cross on the right. Just put it in an area, dared Miller to get a touch on it. Get a touch, he did. Spun up in the air and almost over Leonard. Nice turn that from their carpentry. Semedo is looking for half a yard. Finds Lamar Achal and finds Beadle's right arm. Good save from James Beadle. A full extension, just throwing a fist at that one and slapping it away. Semedo, and then it was Lamar Achal and a left footed effort really tested the athleticism of James Beadle. Shane thinks about the shot, instead finds Perpion, just chipped into Hinchelwood, forces a save from Lennard, but Shane follows up. Europe is a dream for the senior side, it's a reality for the under-21s, and one they are grabbing with two firm fists. Albion 3-0 up against Monaco, and Sammy Shane against the side from his motherland to tap home. Shushane found Perpion. He had the presence of mind just to clip it to Hinchelwood. And Shushane was on the follow-up again. He never stopped running and he got his reward. Shannon Ruth's side win their second successive Premier League International Cup game. Final score in Lansing. Brighton Hove Albion 3, Monaco 0.